team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ant Hand Dog and we back to it. You know how we do it. This is what happens if you trash talk Michael Jordan. I think this is gonna be a pretty good video and this is gonna be why you shouldn't trash talk Michael Jordan. But before we get into it, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all like this video if y'all like this video and go ahead and write something in the comments. But what y'all bet not write in the comments it's stuff talking about my hair. I know my hair look crazy. I know I gotta go get it braided, but but mind your business. Just, just mind your business, man. But let's get into this video. I don't even want to do too much talking. I want to see what players were dumb enough to try to trash talk Michael Jordan. Like I get it, you try to like get in his head to make him play bad, but I didn't heard stories about trash talking him, like the Reggie Miller story, where it made him go even harder. Like it made he was chilling. Reggie Miller started talking shit to him. And then he scored like 40 some points in the second half. So I'm sure that that video is going to be in here and hopefully some more I've never seen before. So let's get into it. We got this is what happens if you trash talk Michael Jordan. Let's get it. Trash talking. I love it. It's the game within the game. In Pat Beth? And in the NBA, it could change a regular Wednesday night basketball game into some of the finest entertainment that money can buy. Players understand it. Some of them love it as well. But there's an old quote that goes something like, Choose your battles wisely. Oh, so I didn't mean to, bro. Today we'll take a look at some players who didn't heed this phrase, and what I mean by that is that these players decided to trash talk Michael Jordan. Yeah, you heard me right. Some players in NBA history actually decided to trash talk to go to basketball. <laughs> and today we'll go over the aftermath of just exactly what happened to these fellas. It's like a high risk, high reward. Because what if? What if you trash talk Michael Jordan and you win the battle? Now you got the whole legacy uh, that you could talk about for the rest of your life. And it's going to be stuff on YouTube. It's going to be stuff talking about how that time you trash talk Michael Jordan and beat him. So it's a high risk. It's a high reward. But these are going to be, this is the risk right here. It's being a part of a video like this. Kevin Garnett is widely considered one of the premier trash talkers in the game. KG trash talk Michael Jordan? back when he was still just a teenage rookie, KG wasn't aware that there were certain guys that should be off limits when it comes to trash talking. And one of them is Michael Jordan. On the night of February 27th, 1996, KG and his teammate Isaiah Ryder oh, who played you. really well against MJ and the Bulls. However, things quickly turned really bad for them when KG opened his mouth and started to talk smack to the GOAT. Here's KG narrating what happened during that game in an interview. We have a saying in the league that you let some sleeping dogs lie, and I'm a product of that. I'm young, I'm 19 years old, I'm in the league, I'm fresh, I graduated out of high school in Chicago. We come yeah. back, we play the Bulls, and I was playing great. Probably the best I'd ever played in my life at this point, right? And it's against the Bulls, and J.R. Ryder is having an unbelievable game too. And I'm just feeling 19, I'm like, yeah, keep going, you're killing him. And in the short form of it, I woke up a sleeping dog, and it wasn't pleasant. That big dog is named Michael Jordan. He bites, and he bit hard. <laughs> I kind of got a warning shot, but I didn't really take that warning shot, and it just turned bad. Michael started doing whatever he wanted to do on the court. He was blown by defenders. Look, oh, oh, That's he was easy. taking out his bag of tricks. He talk shit to give him easy dunks. He was doing circus shots. Oh wow! He turned into KG an all-star game. had 20 apiece that night, but MJ had the last laugh by dropping 35 big points to defeat the T Wolves, 120 to 99. As for KG, he later revealed that ever since that game, MJ continuously made him remember his sorry mistake by rubbing it in his face whenever they saw each other on the court. Whenever I see Jordan, he does the same thing every time. He palms my head and he says, remember the game I gave you 40 and three quarters? <laughs> and then he has this sidekick around him and he's like, pull that video up. And then a guy goes and pulls it up. Aside from the 19 year old KG, there was also another OJ? youngster who decided to poke the sleeping bear. And this time it was a 17 year old OJ Mayo. OJ has so much potential, y'all. I know this video is about Jordan, but 
I just want to talk about OJ Mayo, man. Like, he was from Ohio. Well, actually, I don't know if he was actually from Ohio, but he played high school basketball in Ohio in Cincinnati. And he was the man. Like, he was supposed to be like that that two guard in the league. Like, he was the prototypical combo guard that I feel like it, she should have a place in the league. Could shoot, could, could dribble, could, could drive. Like, he did it all. I'm just not too sure what happened. Let me know if y'all know a little bit more about the OJ Mayo decline and y'all, why y'all think that happened. Before he got into the league, OJ was a highly touted high school superstar and some basketball experts even considered him to be the next top high school prospect since LeBron James. Meanwhile, well, at the same time, MJ ran a couple of basketball camps after his retirement called the Flight School, where he would invite top collegiate prospects in the country to participate. Though the basketball camp was originally exclusive for college players, Mayo was the only high school player to be a part of the elite camp thanks to his impressive resume. And as impressive as his actual game was, Mayo's trash talk game was up there too. And for some reason, the brash 17-year-old kid at the time raised a challenge and started to run his mouth at Michael. Jordan recalled his interaction with the young basketball phenom, and here's what he had to say. I'm playing in my camp against OJ Mayo. He was a top high school kid coming out, and I had never met him first time. In front of my camp, he starts this thing about, you can't guard me, you can't do this. I got my campers here, so obviously I can't really go where I want to go because I own my camp. So I stop the camp, send the kids to bed. We go back to playing, and he starts this whole thing, you can't guard me. Finally, I just said, you may be the best high school player, but, it's but levels I'm to the shit. best player in the world. That's basically so what he said. from this point on, it's a lesson. And from that point on, it was a lesson. He never won a game. I posted him up. I did everything. Just like the basketball camp that he was running, MJ took OJ to school and taught him a thing or two about respect. He took him to flight school at flight school. Is, you know, I got my campus here, so obviously I can't really go where I want to go. Why not? Shouldn't that be more of a reason for you to go hard if your kid's there? Well, he didn't want to talk no shit. That's what it was. You know, Jordan was probably talking crazy if the kids weren't there. That's tough. Sheesh, guys. I'm absolutely sure OJ learned his lesson that day. That's tough. Anyway, since both KG and OJ were just kids, we can probably give them a pass because they still didn't know any better at the time. However, our next trash talk gone wrong story didn't come from a youngster, but instead it came from one of the greatest players of all time. Magic? You see, during one scrimmage session of the 1992 Dream Team, the court was split between Team Jordan Get off. and Team Magic. Jordan's team struggled at the beginning, and Magic's team seized the moment by taking a 12-2 advantage. Confident with their lead, Magic decides to mess with MJ and said, If you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. Mm. And after those words left his mouth, Magic saw MJ's demeanor change quickly, and he knew then and there that it was over for them. His Is Magic the greatest point guard of all time, y'all? Let me know in the comments right now, where does Magic rank as far as all-time point guards? Because... I've been seeing a lot of stuff talking about Steph Curry, man. After he didn't win his fourth ring, I know I know Magic got five. Magic is more of a true point guard, so I personally would give the, the nod to Magic, but I've been hearing otherwise. So let me know you right there that's watching. Let me know who y'all got as the best point guard of all time, and let me know where y'all rank Magic at. Guys got big, he broke the huddle, he hit a three, and he's looking at me with his tongue out. Meanwhile, Scottie Pippen also saw MJ's reaction and said, When you see that look, Scotty too you know, just give him the damn ball and get out of the way. <laughs> we all know that MJ is ultra competitive and hates losing in any given situation, even if it's just a scrimmage match. And as you would expect, Jordan just utterly destroyed Magic's team in this particular instance as if he were playing in the NBA Finals. When it was all said and done, Jordan's team came out on top, and right after the match, it was his time to trash talk to Magic by saying... How you like kicking the game? No, 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 no. Well, aside from magic, there's also <laughs> another legend like, no, no, no. who fell prey to the goat the moment he started barking up the wrong tree. Oh, I think I've seen and this, this time one. around, it was Reggie Miller. You see, Miller got drafted in 1987, three years after MJ got drafted. And during that three-year window, MJ quickly rose and transformed into an instant superstar by averaging 37.1 points a year before Reggie entered the league. Crazy. Now, he when Reggie finally in his met first Michael years? for the very first time, his teammate Chuck Pearson urged him to talk some trash to Michael to throw him off his game. He talked about the incident in an interview, and here's exactly what happened. My rookie year, we were playing the Chicago Bulls, and this is Michael Jordan's third or fourth year in. 
and we were playing an exhibition game. Most veterans do not like to play in exhibition games. They want to get to the real thing. I'm a wide-eyed, energetic rookie, and Michael's going through the motions. And Chuck Pearson, who's on my team, who is a trash talker as well, is like, can you believe Michael Jordan? The guy everyone's talking about? Who's supposed to be able to walk on water? You're out here killing him, Reg. You should be talking to him. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Michael, who do you think you are? Oh, the great shit. Michael Jordan. That's right. There's a new kid in town. He kind of looks he at me say that. and starts shaking his head. I don't remember him saying well, it's a new I kid really in town. can't blame Reggie. I mean, he was a rookie, and at halftime, he had 10 points while Michael only had four. But after the half, Reggie quickly learned his lesson as Jordan dominated him in all possible ways. In his own words. The end of the game, in the second half, he ended up with 44. <laughs> and I ended up with 12. And finally, MJ left some parting words to Reggie right after the game by saying, Black Jesus. never talk trash to Black Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of Reggie, another teammate of his apparently also made the same mistake. Sam Mitchell was a longtime teammate of Reggie in Indiana before he became a coach, and during a podcast interview, he shared a story where he used to call Jordan a ball head, which set off MJ badly. Why? We were playing you guys at the Chicago. Why he called Jordan a ball head? For one, why did he call him a ball head? And for two, why did Jordan get mad? Like, you're your ball, Jordan. But, hey, Sam Mitchell must have knew. Like, hey, I know how to get under his skin. Like, I, I ain't going to call him an old man. I ain't going to call him a ball hog. I thought you were about to call him a ball hog. He called him a ball head. That's fucking hilarious. Stadium, and we were up late in the fourth quarter with, like, four minutes to go. I think Reggie was in at the free throw line to put us up by, like, 13. Mm. The only time I could trash talk to Mike I used to call him Ballhead. I used to tell him all the time, no matter how great you are, you got no damn hair. So I looked at him and I told him, hey, Ballhead, we got that We came in to get that tonight. He looked at me and he said, man, I ain't even started playing yet. He scored 19 straight points and beat us by five. I learned that moment to leave the Ballhead alone after that. Anyway, guys, y'all know another person you should never talk trash to? LeBron James. Hey. He's one of the all-time greats in basketball and, uh, just like people who trash talked Jordan and regretted it, the list of people who were sorry for trash talking LeBron goes on and on. If y'all want to see mm. what happened to these guys, then click this video right here. And trust me when I say, these guys instantly regretted their decision. Anyway, click the video, guys, and like always, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, okay. Trash. Do you think that would be a good video to react to? I know a lot of y'all don't really be LeBron fans, but... I got a lot of LeBron fans on the channel, so I might have to cater to them a little bit, but I appreciate y'all for watching this video with me. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. You right there. You that's watching this video, you done went through that whole video and still ain't subscribed yet. So go ahead and do that for me, man. I would appreciate it in advance. Go ahead and like this video if you like it. And go ahead and write something in the comments. Let me know what other videos y'all want me to react to. I said, man, there's millions of videos out here, and I'm down to react to whatever. As long as it's a good video, or I think it's going to be a good video, I'm going to react to it, man. But I appreciate y'all, like always. We out.